Alright guys, so this is the second part of putting the RSJs in, so we'll do a quick recap. So, the first few days we got the steels in, ready with the RSJs to go up. Then I got all the props ready on the outside. Did the same and got the props sorted on the inside too, propping the joists. Then finally put on the pad stones and got them set in. So we're up to date now, so if you want to see that episode I'll put it on at the end so you can have a look at it so right let's crack on with a new video right so it's the next day we've got the back bit out and that lintel off and now we need to cut these joists back so this is a steel and the steel is 160i so I've put that at 170 then this will come off and then it'll slip under there 20 mil, well I think it's 15 mil so we're going to add another 5 and then we'll just pack that with some slate so that will come off and then that will stay on this little piece at the top will stay on that sits over the top at, over the top at steel and we'll just pack that so it comes to the we'll put some packer in that so that will stay on and that will stay on so it will go like that and we need to do that on every one so that's how it looks, then steel a butt up to that and slide in there. Oh we need another groove here. So that's what it looks like, so it's still shoving there like that hopefully. And then we've got another 12 to do, so let's crack on. So that's it, pretty much got them all done, just finishing that last one off. You can if you want, you don't need to do it like I've done it, you could just cut it down there and then put a joist hanger on like that and then so you cut that off, put your joist hanger on and then put a length on your steel and bolt that in and just nail it to it. But this way it goes in 70mm deep this way and these are only 50 so you get 20mm extra you don't have to buy joist hangers. Right, let's uh, let's get tidied up and we'll get this steel up. So we've got both steels in now, and then I've got to put some bolt holes in all these, they've got to be all bolted together, so the steels are bolted together. And then what I'm going to do is, put some bricks in dry, odd one, slate them up so it's odding it all, and then I'll put all wet ones on. Same up front. That's it, look, we've got it level, so it's nice and level. And then we're going to get this one in first though. Because if we knock it and I've got all cement in it, it'll just ruin it all. So we're going to tidy up, we're going to get this big beam in across here, leveled up, then we can cement it all up, and then hopefully start on Joyce this afternoon. We're in place, we've just got to level that end up. Well, we're not far off, I think we might just need a little bit of a packer under there at a minute, but we're just going to tighten these bolts up first, and then we'll get it all level. Oh, pretty easy that one, because we, we didn't have 
We didn't have to chisel out all bricks and stuff, it just went straight up. Not bad, them genie lifts. That's the joist done, and we've propped, we've uh, took the props out, slated up for now, and I'll put some wet bricks in before we go home. Don't want to put them in yet in case they move about. And then we've slated all these level, and then all these will get cemented up. But we'll do it at end of day so we can set. So, super, super electrician marks here, doing electrics. So we need to go up there now and put a stud wall in. So we've pretty much just bobbed this wall in so the electrician can get wires down into it all so and then we'll just leave it that for now. But there's another wall going here and then uh, this is going to be the, I think it's shower in that one and then bath on the other side and then this is going to stay open so it's, you're going to be able to walk round each side to get in and out of it. So we need to nip downstairs now and get them bricks cemented in and that'll do for now in here.
And that's it guys for this one, I hope you enjoyed it. I've got the scaffolders taking the scaffold down next week, so I've got to get on that roof and sort these ridge tiles out. So that'll be the next episode. See you later. So I'm going to start putting some stuff on Instagram, so if you want to get over there and follow me, it's mark.hep.